everybody. It's Nicole and this is Chicken. Um, I really wanted to make sure I got an introductory video with Chicken. Um, if you've met Chicken in real life or you've known of her on social media, um, you can see she's not, she doesn't have a lot of energy right now and so that's why it was important for me to get a video in to at least introduce you to Chicken. Uh, she's a big reason I do what I do. Um, We've been together for almost 10 years now. She has not been special needs that entire time, um, but she certainly has been for a few years now. Um, chicken weighs just a little under two pounds. That weight has fluctuated. She's been over three pounds in the past, but she's usually right around two. Um, she's, she's been losing weight pretty steadily lately, and so uh, you know I'm doing my best to try to keep her fed and as healthy as possible. Uh, she has not had teeth in about four or five years, I think, and uh, about a year after all of her teeth were pulled, her bottom jaw uh, vanished, uh, went away, and so that added some challenges to her eating, but it didn't slow her down much. Um, but what has been the biggest uh, problem has been uh, a couple years ago she started having seizures and they're not regular but um, she did have one that um, damaged her the muscles in her throat and so she has a really hard time eating and um, she does throw up her food a lot and so it's a challenge to make sure her food blend her chicken and rice uh, canned food with about the same amount of water to make sure that she can eat it like a soup and um, you know, just I just try to make sure she's getting as much food that she can keep in her as possible. Um, one thing I learned in fostering neonatal kittens is that uh, burping them after a meal helps, and so I now do that for her. She did before we started our video have a pretty good burp, and so um, also sitting up straight up and down like this is um, one of her favorite things to do because she looks pretty content um, because it helps just I think gravity just helps that food saddle a little bit more but uh, you know chicken uh, usually has a lot of spunk and so her personality has definitely changed in the last few days and that makes me really sad and a little worried for her um, but she has been a beloved member of our community here in Lawrence, Kansas, and uh, we used to do some therapy work together. She would visit teenagers um, in therapy groups and nursing homes at holidays, things like that, and we really miss doing that. Um, she was a favorite, uh, but she's gotten older and I had to retire her from work like that. Uh, but in any case, I really hope that we're able to do more videos with Chicken, but in case that we're not able to, I wanted to make sure um, she got a little intro video. Um, I'll try to put in some video footage of more active times with her, but in any case, um, I wanted y'all to meet Chicken. She is a big reason. Uh, her special needs has taught me a lot, and she's a big reason I do what I do in fostering and adopting other old dogs um, because she is very, very, special to me and uh, I don't know what I'll do without her at some point uh, but she's really kind of my mission in in dog form and um, so I wanted y'all to meet her uh, today so I hope you all have a happy happy new year and uh, hopefully chicken and I will both see you soon